Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's President B.J. Sayyid Sabsi on his country's Independence Day, wishing the Tunisian government and fraternal people more progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re-election for a new term. His Majesty the King wished President Putin success in achieving the ambitions and aspirations of the friendly Russian people for further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace uh, the United Arab Emirates Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdel Rida Abdullah Khouri, accompanied by his wife on the occasion of the end of the Ambassador's term in the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Majesty the King expressed pride in the deep-rooted relations that tie the two countries and continues to solidify in all fields in a manner that serves bilateral interests and fulfills the aspirations of the people. His Majesty hailed the elevated status of the UAE in the international community as well as its achievements and comprehensive development at various levels. Under the leadership of the UAE's President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty prayed the Almighty to preserve the the UAE's peace, stability, and security. His Majesty the King presented the outgoing UAE ambassador with the Bahrain Medal of the First Class in recognition of his efforts to develop relations between the two and wished him further success. Ambassador Khouri extended sincere thanks and appreciation in honor to His Majesty the King for bestowing the Bahrain Medal on him. He praised the constructive and fruitful cooperation of all sides with him, which he said contributed to the success of his diplomatic mission in Bahrain. He also lauded His Majesty the King's crucial role in enhancing the outstanding cooperation between the two kingdoms. The outgoing ambassador wished Bahrain and his people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty King Hamad's leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad's Global Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Board, Dan Khamis Al Zayani, as well as the members of the Board on the occasion of their appointment. His Majesty the King commended the competency, expertise, and contributions to promote the solid position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the protection of religious freedoms and respect for intellectual and cultural diversity. His Majesty the King affirmed that the establishment of the King Hamad Center highlights the distinguished role of the Kingdom in promoting the values of coexistence and tolerance <coughs> and its continued efforts to strengthen dialogue among various cultures and religions. His Majesty noted that the center will also strengthen Bahrain's status on the international level as a global center to host conferences and seminars that aim at uh, reinforcing the culture of peace, coexistence and openness among all cultures, adding that it will reflect the values of respect, closeness of the kingdom and its people. He also affirmed the kingdom's keenness to adhere to its principles of guaranteeing freedoms and respecting religions, intellectual and cultural pluralism. His Majesty the King wished the chairman of the board and its members success in carrying out their duties. For his part, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his trust, wishing him abundant health and success.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadaybiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the Royal Highnesses affirmed the government's ongoing strategy to adopt programs that promote tourism, which aims to create an entertaining atmosphere for citizens and attract more visitors and tourists. The Royal Highness has noted the importance of projects that reinforce Bahrain's commercial, economic, tourist and cultural status, including the exhibition industry. The Royal Highness reviewed a number of projects that support the economy and aim to develop areas Bahrain to meet uh, the aspirations of citizens and acquire more public spaces, walkways and waterfronts for them. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today at Ghadibiya Palace the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Arab Human Rights Day. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, hailed the achievements made in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness stressed that the government is continuing to consolidate these achievements and build upon them by respecting human rights, safeguarding their dignity and guaranteeing their freedom. His Royal Highness recalled with pride and appreciation the contributions of His Majesty the King in the human rights field, most notably His Majesty's initiative to establish the Arab Court for Human Rights, which received Arab support and international acclaim.
The cabinet approved the ratification of the main system of the economic and judicial authority adopted by the Supreme Council of the Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC, which came in line with the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Majesty King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. The cabinet also approved a draft a convention between the Bahraini and Swiss governments on avoiding double taxation for taxes on income and capital and prevent tax evasion. A memorandum of understanding between the Bahraini and Indian Health Ministries on Healthcare Cooperation had been approved. The cabinet discussed uh, the re reorganization of customs affairs at the Ministry of Interior. The cabinet also approved the government's response on a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives on uh, treating Al Hajiyat resident at Hamad Kanu Health Center in East Rafah. The cabinet reviewed a report from the Minister of Education on granting the UNESCO King Hamad Award and identified the results of the International Labour Organization Board of Directors meeting held in Geneva recently. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Tunisia's Republic's President Beji Sayyid Isabsi on the country's Independence Day, wishing the Tunisian fraternal people a further development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Tunisian Prime Minister Youssef Shahid. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations today to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re-election for a new term. His Royal Highness, the Premier, wished President Putin success in achieving the aspirations of the friendly Russian people for further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Republic of Tunisia's President Biji Sayyid Isabsi on his country's independence anniversary, wishing the Tunisian brotherly people more advancement and elevation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable today to the Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re-election for a new term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished President Putin success in achieving the aspirations of the friendly Russian people for further progress and prosperity. Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BICA, announced that Saudi Arabia will be the guest of honor at Bahrain International Book Fair in 2018. The BICA said that the book fair, which will be held on March 28th to the April 7th, is part of Bahrain's 13th Spring of Culture Festival. In a press conference, BICA President Sheikh May bint Mohammed Al Khalifa said that the Bahrain Book Fair, which is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness, said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa takes place for the first time in Muharraq, celebrating the capital of Islamic culture for the year 2018. Sheikh Hamey also noted that the books, publications and events held in the fair are centered on Muharraq, the capital of Islamic culture 2018. The book fair that features many cultural events has gained a good reputation internationally throughout the past years in harmony with the atmospheres of openness and freedom established in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The book fair encourages uh, multitudes of visitors to discover the universal value of books and publications presented by 400 Arab and international publishing houses. The fair also features parallel cultural events including poetry, music, literary and art criticism sessions. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah and starting with the local stocks. As Bahrain Oil Share Index closed at 1,380.21 points, marking a decrease of 4.28 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the services sector and industrial sector, with 52% of total shares, 62 equity transactions, took place with a volume of 25,982,000. 546 worth 6,723,152 Bahraini dinars. 
His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmoud Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, inaugurated the opening of the new part of the Crown Plaza Hotel Bahrain. The CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority said that the months of drastic changes that have taken place in the hotel are in preparations for the Formula One Grand Prix, which will kick off early next month. The campaign to develop various tourist facilities and services in support of the enhancement of the tourism infrastructure of the Kingdom of Bahrain as one of the main pillars of the strategy of the main body aimed at developing the tourism sector in the Kingdom.